Hello everyone, this is Helen H and welcome to my channel, Moss Cottage. Today I have the rest of my haul from the the uh, craft yard sale I went to that is sponsored by a sorority, but all the money goes to St. Jude's uh, Children's Hospital and this is held yearly um, here uh, where I live. And um, I'm going to tell you I bought one that what you do when you go in, um, they give you a big, big tote bag. I mean a big tote bag. And it's $25 to fill the tote bag with whatever. And um, then they have tables and tables and tables with big totes, plastic totes, big plastic totes, just filled with craft supplies. And then they have tables and tables with those those crates, those plastic crates that you know college kids use and stuff, just filled with paper and um, kits and stuff like paper, you know, kits and, and all that kind of stuff. I'm just gonna move you a tiny bit here. Okay, and um, oh my gosh, it's kind of overwhelming, but it's funny because when I went, I told myself, you know, don't buy anything, you know, don't go overboard like you did last year, you know, make sure that everything that you buy, you're going to use and blah, blah, blah. Um, and so I went in with, you know, paid my $25, got my huge tote, uh, filled it up, and then um, it was so full and so heavy because I had started picking on picking papers, I went to the front and I just told the lady, I need to buy another bag. Um, and she's like, oh, you can still stuff more in there. I could barely lift my bag. I mean, it was so heavy and so full. So I did buy another bag, but because it was a, a just a little bit smaller, not that much smaller, she she let me have it for $20. So I spent $45 on, t on filling totes. And now these things, these are the stow and go. Uh, you can put papers in here, you can put embellishments, whatever. Uh, these were these were in wrap. I took the pl plastic off, brand new. Um, they had tons of these. They were two dollars a piece. So these were additional. I paid for these additional. And <laughs> silly me, I only got two. Wait till you see what I got. There is no way one tote would even fit in here in these two. So I don't know what I was thinking. Um, the lady is local, so I might call her and say, you know what, I need to purchase some more of these. Um, Okay, so what I'm going to do, I have to move this. I'm going to move the stack of paper and kits over. Oh my gosh, this is so heavy, you guys. And there's no way I can show you everything in detail because it would take me the rest of the year. So I'm just kind of generally showing you what I got. Now, I don't know if you all can see how much paper. I mean, this is huge. <laughs> this is so heavy. So in there were, um, I did sort them a little bit. Um, I did sort some of this stuff a little bit for me so that it's easy for me to, to show you. And a lot of stuff I put in bags. Now this was already in a bag. This is a kit and it's got all kinds of stuff from Little Yellow Bicycle in it. Um, but this is Christmas themed. And then I think this was in it, this Jovial Paper Pad. Uh, which is Christmas, and then this someone had put together this little kit, and this has thickers and pom pom trim and some pay, Chris, cute Christmas papers, and then all of this. Now I picked these ones per paper. I was there for four hours, and guys, let me tell you, with all the stuff that is going on in my life right now. I'm really being tested, really being tested is all I can say. And, you know, on the way to the, the sale, you know, I was just praying and I was talking to God and I said, you know, if there's nothing for me, I'm okay with that. You know, I'm okay with that. Well, he blessed me so much. I literally went through all the papers and picked out the ones I wanted. These are really good, nice papers. I mean, look at some of these. And this, this stack I'm holding in my hand right now is Christmas papers. But, you know, look at these. These are beautiful. And, yes, these are not the latest, uh, the latest uh, lines, you know, that you can get. But they're Studio Calico, ter um, Teresa Collins. Um, I don't know who this is. Uh, oh, Echo Park. There's Basic Gray. There's Crepe Paper. Lots of authentic. I got lots of authentic paper. Um, 
And so uh, this is all for, for Christmas projects, but particularly for December dailies. So this whole stack here is Christmas paper. And then the kits I showed you. Then this was a little kit someone had put together. Well, it came this way. It has never even been opened. Uh, it, this is from, okay, Helen, let's read it the right way. Oh, this is from Reminis. And um, they usually have really cute papers. I didn't open it, but I want, I'm interested to see, look at the cute little pumpkins, uh, what the other papers in here are, because Reminis tends to have really cute papers. And then these are stickers here. Okay, so that's Christmas, and I'm going to get that off my desk. Ugh. And, okay, I'm not going to, like I said, go over everything. Uh, this one right here, these are all Valentine's papers. And see, I, like I said, I kind of divided these so that it will be easy for me to put away and easy for me to show you, but I love this one right here. It's like, um, it's Cosmo Cricket. It's called Honey Pie. Uh, it's from the Honey Pie Collection. It's like cross-stitch words. It's so cute. So this is all Valentine's. Then, then I've got some uh, various the sundry. This is just like some embellishments, uh, this package right here. But I, what I wanted to show you was this side. And yes, they have used a lot of the chipboard out of here. I don't know what they used because this was an older pack. But look, they left this darling little girl with her floral suitcase. They left all these beautiful flowers here. There's these little paper clip things. Um, they left some really good stuff in here. And then these look like they're travel uh, themed things. So that was just that bag. And then this was a kit somebody put together. But I love these little crocheted flowers. There are um, Fancy Pants labels here. There are American Crafts number stickers and just some really, oh, well, you can't see on that side, but some really cute papers uh, inside. So. Then here someone else put together, this is just like letters, this might, it's, this is like vintage paper looking ones. And then there's some library cards with some Apple paper clips, some thickers, and then some different kinds of papers in here. I haven't really gone through these uh, very much. Now this is all L Studio stuff. There's all these die cuts and um, ephemera packs and everything and then there's some pretty pretty papers look at these cute papers okay and then this is another set with some papers i don't know who this oh this is basic gray this is a sticker sheet on top look at the fried egg how cute is that and there's a teacup and a teapot and there's this it's like recipe thing and eating a uh, food thing but the little strawberry i i would have gotten it just for the sticker sheet but it does have some paper in there too and then this one is uh also basic gray uh but it's a, a hodgepodge of what people put together there's sticker sheets here there's a couple sheets of this paper with these vintage girls on it this is a thick one there's lots of paper and here's another sticker sheet with pretty birds and stuff on it and then it's just got floral papers and, and pretty papers in it then i got a couple sheets of just the um alphas the uh alpha sh stickers and then this is an alpha sticker here, and then just some other stickers here. This is from Prima. This was a Prima one. And then here again, we've got alphas and just kind of stickers with uh, little sayings and things on them here. And then this is a chipboard from Crate Paper, Acorn Avenue. Okay, look at that squirrel right there oh my gosh him alone but there's so many cute ones on here and with fall coming up this is so cute and this is chipboard stickers look at the little toadstools down here love it and then here's some more chipboard board stickers and these are from Teresa collins and these are these are kind of general of scrapbooking kind of things so family always you know that kind of thing but i thought it was real pretty and there's some nice i don't use a whole lot of the chipboard stickers but occasionally i use them on like tags or if i make banners or on the covers of my junk journals that i sell at craft shows and then this is um cosmo Cric 
Cricut called Pixie Licious. Oh my gosh, look at this. Look at these little pixies and these and these flowers have their little faces. Look, she's got her little face up to the sun. Aren't those adorable? And this little worm here. This is so cute for a little gardening book. And so that I think is all the chipboard sticker and the chipboard sticker and sticker sheets and and little kits. Then all of this, guys, and I'm not going through it, like I said, all of this is just paper. And so, this is authentic. These are specialty papers. This is like, it's perforated, but it's it's like receipts, and it says received of, and they're like uh, craft paper. And they come in either the white or the, the craft. And then these are really cool. Uh, these are, um, are cut apart that again come in white or craft and they have it says fig like for figure and then they're numbered um they go all the way up to 96 but how fun for like a nature journal to put these figures then you could put a little flower in there and again i got sheets with the craft or the cream and they are perforated so they'll just all t tear apart then i got these uh these are some spe other specialty papers here. Um, these are like National Bank. I think these are, these fold up into little folders. And I got them in cream and white. And then this is just, again, it says figures. And then it's got the numbers. These are Pink Paisley, some specialty papers. Um, I'm, I'm not sure if I'll actually use them as specialty papers. They're like, they're not paper. They're more like chipboard. I might use these actually as stencils. And then, um, I, I can't go through all this paper. I just can't. It's just, these are all specialty papers. And then I got a whole bunch of, uh, I think it is, um, oh my goodness, Stampin' Up! Solids. Solid paper. Um, then I got this package of magnetic paper. And so you can print your pictures on it and put them on the fridge. But since it's magnetic paper, I'm going to see if these are strong enough to A, either hold my little uh, box magnets or because they're flat, it's not like the rolled magnets, or if I can use this to hold some dies on. So I'll check that out. This has never even been opened. Then guys, this is just, oh my gosh, this is so heavy. This is just paper, and I picked every one of these out by hand. And like I said, there's tons of authentic. All of these are like big name papers. There's there's not any weirdo, you know, Bob's paper or something. You know, it's all good brands. Oh my gosh, I have to put that over there. I have to clear my desk. Now, that was all the paper. That alone fill, almost filled one tote. But the rest of the stuff I kind of bagged up so that to keep like uh, things together and so that I could show you quickly. And I'm just going to pull out if anything super interesting. This is all the trims because they had um, totes and totes full of trims. But I love this one. This is a blue um, like tool or net with silver in it. And this would be so pretty for Christmas cards, I think, for doing Christmas projects. Um, I love that. And there's just tons of stuff. I mean, this is all organza ribbons. Um, this is pretty cool. I don't know what this is. Sorry for the wrinkling. Some of you guys hate it. I love the wrinkling sound in videos. I'm one of those people. This is some weird fibery stuff. It's very thin and fibery. But this will be great for like layering on embellishments or using in mixed media. And there's a ton of it. I mean, there is a ton because this stuff is really super thin. So um, then eyelash trims, beaded trims, just all kinds of trims. Okay, so that's for the trims. Then what is this? This little baggie here. These are all journaling cards. And guys, some of these have never been opened. There's like L Studio. Um, uh, oh, Basil, uh, Freedom, uh, Patriotic Stack. These are just, I'm sure these are 
Oh, my mind's eye journaling cards, journaling cards, journaling cards, journaling cards, and you know, all different sizes going down into, uh, here's some chic tags, journaling cards, don't know who that is. Here's some L Studio, little, little, thin ones and then there's a whole bunch back here which are like the um project life ones so this whole bag here is journaling cards like that oh my goodness where am i gonna put all this stuff okay then um i'm just gonna pull some stuff out here oh this is <laughs> This is my, probably my favorite bag. This is all like embellishments. And I have to show you some of these things. This is from Studio Calico. These are little shaker. There's four of them in here. They look like this. And they're little shaker cards. So I love those. And you know, the other thing besides getting these, it gives you ideas. Cause I think these are, I haven't opened them, but I think they're just vellum that's sewn. So. There you go. Now these are definitely vellum that are sewn. These are crepe paper, party day. And again, these are all little shakers. Look at the party hat. Now how simple, it's just a triangle that's sewn vellum with with um, sequins in it. And this vellum actually has little polka dots on, but you could use plain um, and a bow. And then this one that says happy birthday and then a cupcake. And these are shakers, so cute. Then I got, um, some uh, enamel dots. These are my mind's eye, my mind's eye, Teresa Collins, um, twine and ink, never heard of them, but these are all like little enamel and pebbles, all enamel dots. Uh, some labels, some true vintage labels here. Um, gosh, uh, like I said, I can't show you everything. These are just little flat Christmas um, chipboard pieces and this was a little kit it is a for making a little chip chipboard album and i think that this is yeah this is k and company but this is the whole little kit but i love the embellishments that came with it uh we've got some brads here jen allison a whole bunch of brads um glitz epoxy, epoxy words my mind's eye, cute little buttons. I love, and these little pieces here are chipboard little banner pieces, but you could sew them on like a button. Then this is from My Mind's Eye. It's some pins, some decorative pins, and some buttons. Uh, this is just uh, Echo Park. It is a, a little kit, and it's got a little stamp and some buttons and stuff in it. This is glitter die cuts from the Lillian collection. Uh, don't know who that is, but I don't know if you can see that. But it's got some cute little glitter die cuts in it. Teresa Collins sequins. And I'm getting ready to do some projects with sequins. This is just a bag of, of paper clips. Uh, guys, this was just so fun. Um, this is just a bag of little embellishments. They are like plastic little packages, uh, like presents with little bows on them. This is uh, some bling bling. And I, like most of you, I cut these apart. I don't use them whole. Then th these are some shell uh, crosses. This is Teresa Collins Vintage Finds Flowers, and you can layer those up. This is EK Success, some little gingerbread cutouts, my mind's eye, some chipboard pieces, and then these are some epoxy uh, little stylized flowers. Jolie's Boutique, I bought that for my December Daily. It's little candles. Um, well, I'm not gonna go through everything because like I said, it will take forever. Um, if there's anything else there's there's chipboard pieces in here um oh gosh lots of chipboard what's this oh some more daily junk pink paisley it's, it's chipboard letters so this is just the embellishments that i got 
and oh my gosh, it was so fun. And like, got, like I said, the last time I went last year, I kind of went crazy and I was just grabbing stuff to fill, fill my bag. This year, I looked at every single thing. This is why I was there for four hours, but I love everything I bought, so that's the difference. Okay, then I have this bag here, which is... Um, uh, why did I seal this here? This is just bigger, uh, bigger journaling cards, uh, L Studio. Oh, and, and other little things. These are actually little pockets that have cards slipped in them, and that's from L Studio. These are little vellum envelopes. These are just little pa Amy Tangerine little paper envelopes of different sizes. This is Studio Calico. These are some pockets also. Then these are Seven Gypsies, little, the little um, file, uh, file, not Philodex, what is this called? Anyway, they're just little cards, but I thought these would be great for tuck spots. And then these are Rusty Pickle. I don't know what this is for. It's, it's probably dividers like that go on something because they have this edge here. But they're tabbed. You know, they have like the little file folder tab on the top. So probably what I'm going to do is just cut the bottom off and then make them into little file folders. So, or who knows, because I love that. I love that edging too. So I don't know, but I will use those for something. So that's that. Then I have this bag. What is this bag? Okay, this bag is tags, 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 tags. So uh, these are, well, these are actually just stamping up book, bookmarks. These are pebbles, tags. This is Tim Holtz. I just put this in here because of the shape. This is Tim Holtz um, grunge board, and the grunge boards all have different textures on them. They're all embossed with different textures. So that. Then this is just a bag of tags. Lots of different tags, and then some circle punches here, and then this is some smaller little tags, like the little, almost like the little price tags, but they ha they look aged. They're they're not white. They're actually off white. Then we've got this um, canvas tags, and this looks like a present. This is Christmas stuff. And then we've got these are really cool. These are tags. They've got the hole. For the tag but they're postcards see it says cart postal so you can decorate one side leaves so you can actually probably mail these and then these have the postcard on this side and they're just plain on that side so I thought those are really cute so that's the taggy type stuff I got and like I said Saturday night when I got home from the sale I just all night organized this stuff into categories so that there were some halfway decent way to show you this stuff because otherwise there'd just be no way okay oh this is a big one stamps <laughs> stamps lots of stamps okay um this is just a tiny little one but i thought it was cute it's just little cupcakes and ice cream cones and you can decorate them with all different things i thought that was cute and this is a stamping up kind of watercolor flower. And really the reason I got this was for the inspiration to make my own watercolor flowers, like these shapes. Um, and then this is a, num a number die, but it also has the dollar sign and the, the pound sign. And I make a lot of signs for my shop and my shows, so I, this one actually had a dollar sign, which I liked. Then... This is just uh, stamping up a whole bunch of different snowflakes. And this is Studio G. It's just a acrylic block. Then I got two of these heartfelt stamps, uh, heartfelt creations. This one is here. I got it for the mittens and the ice skates. I thought they're so cute. Look at the mittens and the ice skates. And then this other one is called Snow, Snow Kiss Spruce, and it's just tree, you know, the different trees. Then you get a sled and a snowflake. And these have never, ever even been opened. Here's some unmount, uh, some, no, they are just uh, rubber stamps, but they are textures, all, and they're nice and small for like ATCs. And then I got this wood block. This is a Stampin' Up one of a clock face. Cool. 
and uh, Stampinology. This is four stamps in here. It's never been opened. But again, I was thinking of the backgrounds on those. This is We Are Memory Keepers, just a little leaf stamp. And then this is Jilly Bean Soup, and it's just text. It's like a whole book text. And then this is Kaiser Craft, and these look like little pieces of washi tape, which I thought was fun. And then this is Technique Tuesdays, again, just background. This is all dots. This one says Just Be. Then um, this one is a calendar one, and it just has the calendar, and then you circle the month and the day if you want to put something on there, or like for someone's birthday. So every everybody's birthday is on there. And then I got this. I don't know what this is. I have to look it up, but it's the Ranger Clear Resist Pad. And it said something about, <coughs> excuse me, resisting color. So I'll probably use this in mixed media. I want to see how this, if it resists watercolor since I've been playing with those lately. And then last not for the stamps, it's not in its right box. This is a Office Depot photo paper box, but it's actually two, stamps, two sets of stamps. And I love the candy cane alphabet down here for Christmas. I think that's so cute. And I love having a lot of different of these little wood stamps like this because they're just so fun in journaling and stuff just to put some words down or whatever. So this was all the stamps. Okay. We still have a, a whole tote bag to go, so... Hang in there. Go get yourself some coffee while I'm trying to corral these back in here. Um, and really, I this is as fast as I can go and really show you anything. Okay, so that big bag of stamps. Okay, then the next thing I got is what? Oh, okay, this is just a piece. This is just a bag of all wooden banner pieces. Oh, here, sorry, wooden banner pieces. But I'm going to decorate these up for Christmas and make maybe three three pieces for a banner and really decorate these up for Christmas for my Vintage Home Market show. There's lots of those in there. Then this bag is flowers, and they had tons of... Um, I like some of these flowers, these flat, bright colored flowers to use as tabs on the side of my, like my prayer journal and stuff. They had tons of these in different colors, but I, I think there's 50 flowers in here. I wouldn't use 50 purple flowers or 50 just yellow flowers, so I got the multicolored one. And then this is a flower embellishment from Prima. And this one's so long, I'm just going to be cutting off the little ends and using the ends. Then these are um, Petty Lou little flowers here. These, I got two of these. These are also Petty Lou um, floral. It says color them. You can paint them, stamp them, chalk them, ink them. And then I got uh, some little daisies. These are felt, little felt daisies. These are Petty Lou. And these ones are kind of frosted on the edge, so they're kind of cool. And then these are, I can't even read who these are, tiny little white flowers that can be cut up, uh, cut up, colored, colored, Helen. Yeah, so these are the flowers. I'm not a huge flower user. Um, sometimes, like, maybe on, the, on tags or... Um, yeah, mostly tags or banners and stuff, or these, on, I do need just tabs for my journals, but I don't have a huge, huge collection of flowers because I just don't use them. All right, next we have, what is this? This is, I don't know, but it's got its own category. Oh, here's some more, oh, stickers, stickers. These are Amy Tangerine, these are little planner stickers, but they got the little houses and stuff, so cute. These are... Crepe paper from 14. These are from the Valentine's collection. Studio Calico stickers. Little Safari stickers. I just thought these are cute. I do make my junk journals that I sell, I do make baby themed ones. So those would be for that. 
Then these are Sticko, Let It Snow. These are all snowflake ones, of course. Let's see, whoops. That didn't go well. Here we go. These are all uh, winter themed ones. And I have a paper pad that is winter themed. It's not Christmas themed, it is winter themed. So I might put the, these with that. Then these are just some sticky um, tabs and Studio Calico Vellum Stars. And these are Seven Gypsies Tiny Little Labels. And then these are some Faith Stickers. Of course, that'll go in my, my uh, Bible journaling stuff. Heidi Swap, these are little um, saint words and then the definition stickers. And they look like they're on old pieces of paper. And this is, um, who is this? Uh, my Mind's Eye Indie. There's three, it's like there's three different, yeah, three different sheets of these kind of stickers here. Then I got some Jolie's, uh, one has slipped up here. These are American flags, but they have like clear, uh, what, like clear, glitter on them that you can't see it but but they're they're textured on the top then i got these british flags since i'm british had to have those maybe for my dad these crosses here they're like epoxy and then just a whole bunch of different ones these are these are cool these are disney from the small world um ride and on my etsy shop moss cottage market I have a vintage Disney guide from the small world about like how they made it and all the pictures and about all the countries and all of that. So whoever buys that might be getting those as well as a freebie. Then just some My Mind's Eye cut and paste and whatever. And then these are Studio uh, Calico Mistables. Lots of them. There's feathers and then the butterflies. And of course you can color these up however you want, but they're stickers. And then these are rub-ons. Um, I'm not a huge fan of rub-ons because they never seem to come out well for me. But since these are just doilies, even just parts of it will work. So that's the stickers. All right. Oh my gosh. Oh gosh, Helen, you gotta get going, girl. Oh, and I got this. Never opened an EK Tools mini scoring board. And this is still in its package. All right. Then I got some paints. And I just got some Kaiser Color. These are from Kaiser Craft. Just some acrylics in black, lime, lime green, and white. Because these are colors that, you, that I use a lot of. Um, and just a paintbrush because it was pretty cool. And then these are all, well, this is ink. This is actually all-purpose sky blue ink, which I can play with with Miss D Media. And the rest of these are all, well, no, not these two. Hold on, I'll take those two out. These are all stickles, all bottles of stickles. And then these are Ranger Patinas.